I think the world needs a SpongeBob musical. A character like SpongeBob, who has an optimism at his core. We need that kind of optimism right now. I think we need that, that innocence. We created a story that could have no higher stakes. I like to think of the story as uh, Our Town meets Armageddon meets SpongeBob. The score has a huge range of style and scale. Really, from the outset, every artist has brought their A-game. We're relying completely on the energy and the flavor of the actor's personality. The show is a mashup of so many different disciplines. We have juggling, bicycling, hip hop, tap, skateboarding, any and everything you could think of. Capturing the essence of SpongeBob, using materials that are recognizable to people or found objects or things that could float to the bottom of the ocean, and um, tried to make a big, wonderful underwater world out of those things. It's gonna feel like the inside of a pinata in there. The sort of imminent, um, a uh, dangerous mountain on the verge of possibly destroying Bikini Bottom. It manifests in a lot of different ways, and one of that ways is an increasing number and increasing scale of orange balls that sort of become our boulders. Because of Tina's vision and what the set looks like, it's really inspiring to, to be able to bring everything to the table. We are drawing on the biggest pop stars in music today. Aerosmith. T.I. They might be giants. Cindy Lauper. John Legend. Panic at the Disco. Lady Antebellum. Jonathan Colton. Flaming Lips. Plain White Tees. Sarah Bareilles. She got songs from a lot of people. It's different characters will come in and sing different, you know, pieces of the song. It, it could possibly be our greatest song that we've written yet. The humor in it is a classic. I think it would be the kind of thing people would want to go and see. If you're going to do a musical, you want different vignettes into different emotions. Because he's just a simple sponge. Simple life, I wrote BFF. It took me just a few days to kind of come up with the concept. It's SpongeBob as you've never seen him before, and all these characters as you've never seen them before. What is so appealing about SpongeBob to such a broad demographic is that it is appropriate for kids, but there is there are layers of humor. To have the opportunity to get that Chicago audience, which is such a smart audience, we're gonna learn so much about the show and we're gonna make a better show. I'm a fan, dude. This kiss is, this is not like made up. SpongeBob is a presence and a spirit that is here to say, let's have the best day ever. I'm gonna buy my ticket right now. Oh, wait. I'm in it! Ah! 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 Want more videos? Subscribe to the Nickelodeon YouTube channel now. No!